Green on. Uh, it's not even on. Hold on. There we go. Alrighty. Woo. Alright, guys. It's me. Um, I'm going to be making three more today. Such a shame. Uh, yesterday, one of my... I left the studio here, you know. One of my pots fell over landed on my my wheel pedal right so then when i turn the lights on because i have everything hooked up to like a switch right when i turn the lights on all of a sudden a whole bunch of my stuff thrown around everywhere everything's going crazy because i had stuff on my wheel because i leave it for that thumbnail i leave everything up there so pretty chaotic you know but kind of interesting i've only had that happen that's the first time that's ever happened to me so Pretty interesting. We're going to get into it, though. We got three more coming at you guys, so I'll see you guys over there in a second. Green off. There we go. All righty. Put my little shoesies on here. All right. <clears throat> As you can even see, there's like a, a little spill here. I don't know if you guys can see. But landed right on my pedal. So, kind of crazy. Fill this up with some water. Bring this over here. And you know, I have like uh, a couple wedged up things. The clay seems like it's going to be a little bit not as hard as yesterday. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. A little water right on this edge. Take off some of that clay. There we go. Alright, so I push this down, push this down, push this down. Whoop. I wonder if that damaged my pedal at all. My pedal does feel more stiff. Hold on, let me look at my pedal for a second. It looks okay, but it does feel a little bit different. It feels like it's. Like before, it didn't make those little squeaky, right? Interesting. So I'm going to just keep that in mind as I'm throwing today. Kind of sad, you know? I really wish that didn't happen. So All right, we're going to comb this up. I feel like it's gonna wanna rip right in this section here. So I'm gonna need a little bit of water as I go down. Take that up. There we go. I feel like one of these days, once I make enough money, I'd love to get a new wheel. Ah, wait, I forgot to turn off my my camera. Hold on one second. Sometimes I forget to turn off my my uh, green screen camera. And so what happens is that the green screen camera battery gets low. So then when I go over there later, all of a sudden it just cuts off. So that's another thing I want to get is one camera that can just be hooked up and be charging as it's running at the same time so I don't have to really worry about turning it off I could just keep it on right I mean that'd be ideal but those sorts of cameras they cost quite a bit um, I know um, some some uh, cameras would be okay but I also want to make sure I get like something that I can use and pass just where I'm at right now so I always end up like doing a lot of research on 
what I like about certain cameras and things I would potentially need in the future. So then when I make a purchase, it's not going to be useless in a couple years, you know. Alright, anyway, centering that clay. We'll switch over to camera B. Camera B. There we go. Opening this up ever so slightly. Looks like it's a little bit tilted. Does it look tilted to you guys? I feel like I'm off to one direction a little bit. I am. Hold on. I think I hit my... Oh. Well, shit. I feel like that looks pretty centered there. Not really, actually. That looks good. Okay. Opening this up here. I probably could have gone a little bit deeper. I have really, I have way too much thickness on this bottom here. So I'm going to push that down. I'm going to bring this out. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm pushing this down. And bring this out. That looks good. Rotating this down, this edge down. And I want to make sure I get good wall thickness here. Okay, anyway, water on this bottom edge. I'm slowly going to be bringing this up. That's pretty good. A little water right on this. Knuckle down this bottom edge. Slowly pushing that in. Good. A little more water on this edge here. We go right down to the bottom. I'm gonna bring this up, okay? Sometimes I feel like I'm not crazy enough yet, right? Like, uh, you know, I throw every day. I make these videos. I do all this stuff. Um, I'm still not where I want to be yet, you know? Even throwing-wise, I feel like I've gotten really good this year. But I still think there's a lot more room for me to, you know, grow. But not... I don't want to just be like some normal potter right like there's more room for me to grow in my my own little version of pottery right you get some weakness in that middle so you can see it's starting to buckle out ever so slightly so i'm gonna get some more water here on the interior of my finger so then i was thinking like dang like maybe like when i throw you know for the video that doesn't really count as throwing for the day Right, maybe I have to do like some throwing for my videos, and then I have to do some throwing for myself afterwards, right? And so I think, you know, after I get done, I get home, like tonight, I'll be home at like 10 o'clock, right? What if instead of just going to take a shower and sleep, I just come right back down here and I just make some more, right? What am I gonna do at ten? I don't, you know, I don't go to bed right at ten. You know, I finish my shower maybe at ten thirty. Then I was thinking, okay, well, after that, I kind of just like look on like my my YouTube. I check my analytics on things, see what's going, what's doing well, what's not doing well. Instead of doing all that, what if I just just came down here and just kept on going? So I don't think I'm at that stage yet. I think uh, right now I just work at too many places. 
but I feel like it's definitely possible. So we'll kind of get into it. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that six is terrible. All right, let's go back over to six. There we go, six. These ones, these ones were terrible. We'll see. I think we can get something good out of this, even though that is not too great. Pushing this clay down. It's okay. I was thinking about what I should make, you know. I saw this guy recently. He's like a student at one of the places I work, and he was making a moon jar. He was actually doing a crazy job at it. He was doing really good. And um, it made me think, like, how would I... Put some pottery demon flare on a moon jar. And then could you imagine if like somebody sees all my trees and they're like, oh man, these things are terrible. Like you can't make a single thing that's even or straight. And then all of a sudden I pull out like a whole entire another room full of moon jars. I feel like it would just be like a really good thing to practice. I feel like I can make a moon jar pretty good. And I feel like now I have a system for my the clay that I'm using. So I think I just want to use harder clay for that sort of stuff. I think oftentimes people use this super, super soft clay to make all their things. And it's like, nah. I think that's a lot of, like, a maybe not a mistake. That's a choice that a lot of people don't think how much influence it has over the objects you make. You know? I guarantee you the people who are making like those really, really, you know, crazy objects are not using super, super soft clay. They're probably using something maybe a little bit harder. Even if it's not hard, just a little bit more stiff than what you would get out of the bag. At least in my experience, I don't know. It seems like throwing with soft clay, after some point, you're kind of limiting what you can make. Right, it's nice to throw with because it feels so easy, right? Here, I'm just gonna go another spin around. I really think I damaged my pedal. My foot pedal's off, like I can feel it. I throw on this thing every day, so I can tell you I feel when things are off. That's a little bit something I'm gonna have to get used to now. Right up underneath. So, um, I think after this year of throwing is finished, I gotta start thinking about what I need to do next, right? I still don't think I'm at the point where I should start, like, finishing all the trees yet, you know, and glazing everything. Here's number one, by the way. I'm gonna get another chunk of clay. I think I'm more at the stage where I just need to, I just need to keep grinding. I do think I wanna keep throwing every day, though after I am done with all this stuff. A bit more water right on this wheel here. It's great. Like that, you know. I got some more clay here. Actually, there's a kind of a cool rip on that one that we just finished. And that top, so nice. I feel like I should just start making some of these into jars. But then I gotta make a lids. I'm telling you, lids are not, not it, fam. I feel like when you make lids, like you have to take too many steps that don't have to do with manipulating clay on the wheel. And so I think it's like, 
it's more of like something you have to think about rather than something you can just feel, you know? Where I feel like throwing on the wheel, I like, that's the only part I like about throwing in general is just the feeling part of it, right? So it got really wobbly. I'm going right back down to the bottom, pushing right to my palm here. And again, the top, this top clay is just so stiff. All right, we gotta be careful. We don't want it to split. And I feel like it's definitely wanting to split in some of these rims here on this bottom edge. So we're gonna take that edge down, have our fingers underneath that edge. There you go, right? And then you just project that clay right back up. I feel like that looks pretty good. Okay, give me one more. Whoa. Okay, chill. Catch that. Right down. That looks pretty good. It's gonna clay up. interior here just get like a little pond <clears throat> I don't know I think too like if I was to talk about it like um, when I say I throw for a year it doesn't seem that impressive right like I threw every day for a whole entire year right but what I think sounds cooler is I threw every day for years, years. I feel like that would scare some people, right? I like that, that vibe to it. So I think I just gotta keep on going after. So, but I just need to figure out, I need to either, the things I make need to start getting me money, right? Or, so then I can leave some places that I work at, so then I can just really go crazy with this stuff, right? Or, right, I need to find a place that can just pays me enough and I'll just do that, you know, during the week because right now four places is just too much. But I just want to be able to say, like, I threw for years straight every day because I need time to be able to glaze the things one day, right? I can't. I, it's totally fine if I just keep everything, you know, like this, but I want to fire everything. I want to be able to like have everything all, uh, what's the word? Oh, like durable enough to survive a rainstorm. And you know what I mean? Like right now, everything that I've made this whole year, it's unfired. You know, that's all it takes is one little flood and it's just toast. You know, so there's kind of like that anxiety in my head whenever it starts raining outside. So just whatever. But I would like to get all that stuff fired one day.
Now, so this bottom edge, it's all wonky. So you'll see the top will get real wonky in a second when I go to fix this bottom. So here we have fingers right through this bottom edge. I think that's kind of what I want. So I've realized that, like, the whole, like, when you imagine how something worked out, it's never going to be that, right? But that shouldn't stop you from still attempting to do it. And so I think I just need to kind of reframe my, my mind over the course of years to sort of fall into this, this mentality of just make, 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 make. Non-stop, just make. And I've already discovered so much, you know, on my YouTube. I've made, like, I've almost had, like, you know, if you think of, like, a TV show, there's different arcs of a TV show or an anime or something. I've had, like, different arcs for my videos. It's kind of funny. So we'll go one, two, four, five. Oh, well. it over itself now we can go out be gentle cool all right there we go so this one went weird but it was uh folded over so once it folded over it had enough durability for me to pull it out right it just needed to find its own little structure to sit on first right cutting the grass where somebody was outside right and I can smell the grass and I think I might be allergic to grass because I'm having I feel so the past days I've been feeling better you know like I haven't been as congested and then I woke up this morning to the sounds of grass being cut and let me tell you I did not feel good this morning <laughs> I wonder if it's like the, I'm allergic to grass. I've actually never, I think in my mind, I just don't think I'm allergic to anything, but in reality, I probably am allergic to a lot. And I just have sort of not really cared about it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna cut this. One, two, three, ah. That looks unfortunate. Let's start here. Three. So you have one mess up there. But I don't think it'll matter too much when we make the curls. I don't even think you'll notice. But we'll see in a second. Man, the wheel. The wheel, uh... My pedal again, man. I'm so sad that I kind of altered it somehow just really unfortunate nose edge we'll curl that in look at that it looks pretty good okay so that's number two y'all we got one more pot to go And that bottom edge, clean off some of that clay. Camera A. 
Thank you. I'm gonna set this one over here. I wanna see. Do, why do I have clay on my interior of my jorts? Whatever. Alright, and we need to get some more water because the water that we have is getting really, really thick. And so whenever you're like you you're working with your water bucket here and it starts getting like slip you know some people think that's nice right me i hate it so i get rid of it i'm just gonna get some new water here i want it to feel like like water not like clay there we go Whoop. somebody said yeah totally thanks no david blake i hope you're doing well bro I haven't seen you a little bit. Oh yeah, I got the, the crown on. You saw that, that's so funny. Yeah, allergies suck, I'm telling you. Allergies do suck. But I feel like I just need to get, I feel like you can overcome allergies eventually. Just takes like years of slowly getting used to a place, I think. I think still I haven't been where I'm at for too long. And I don't really go outside very much, so it's just kind of like, I think it's of course I'm gonna have a bad reaction. You know, all right, push this down, push this down, push this down, push this down, push this down. The clay's a little bit stiff, right? But you really wanna make sure that you can bring it back. Okay, a little bit of water right on that edge. Going right up. Okay, so you got one rip in that middle area there. Go right down to the bottom, really using your body weight to project that right into your palm. You got one more. You're gonna go a little bit slower on this base here, right? Um, I can sense some rips in this bottom edge, right? So is it slowly wanting to rip off here? Oh, I think I totally ripped it off. All right, we're gonna swap to a... Yeah, look at that, it's not even on there. Dang. That's so sad. All right, we're gonna do the ceramic, which you're not supposed to do. I'm gonna just push this right back off. So when the clay is too hard, it's gonna tear rather than stretch. But again, you know, we want this hard clay because that's gonna help us out later on. Again, it's gonna rip off, so I don't wanna go too tall this time. And we're gonna go right down to the bottom here. Really using your body weight. Okay. Gonna just drop our shoulder right on there. Slowly bring your fist right out to your palm. You got your hockey puck. There you go. Right. Camera B. So I'm gonna open this up here. We have water right on this interior. Slowly pull this out. I feel like this didn't really do a great job here. Slowly taking this bottom, bring this out to this edge. And 
and we'll go right in. I just want to condense that edge ever so slightly. So when I go for my llama pull here, we can just get this right up. Not too much struggle. And I have some harder stuff towards the top I'm noticing. So I gotta keep be aware of that. That I don't go too thick on the top or because the clamp on below is a little bit softer here. Right, taking my knuckle. Going right up underneath. And we're just trying to even out those walls, right? Just trying to get it all set up for a height pull here. Call that in ever so slightly. Seems like I have a couple people saying some stuff. Let's see what's going on here. Been watching between classes. Thanks. No, I appreciate that, bro. Somebody said hello. Hello to whoever on the, the YouTube is there. Hello. Go right back down. Right to this bottom edge. And again, so we had some off-centered stuff on that, our, our bottom there. So I'm just trying to realign that. Also, I have a lot of water on the interiors. So I want to get some of that out before I start my next pull here. Okay. I'm at the bottom of the clay. You know, to get a little bump to find. Again, I'm noticing that there's some harder stuff. There's like some points of hard clay. And so I just don't want it to totally wiggle off that bottom there. So I just want to go slow. Rehydrate as needed, right? And realistically, I probably got one more. But I'm going to collar first here. So I'm right at this bottom. I'm collaring in the clay. I get to about like here maybe. I'll swap my hand position. So you can see we're buckling out here on the bottom edge too. Come on, chill out, dude. This one might not survive, but we'll see in a second. So all this pull really is, is we're not really trying to get any height. So I'm looking at this middle part too. I probably need to get something I gotta get my little rib tool and see if I can try to compress that layer and get a little bit more stiff on this bottom edge so then it can hold the tension of what I'm gonna be doing above it. Come on. I don't normally do stuff like that, but I think that'll be just enough so I can continue on this. A little pull on this top part here. Just keeping our eyes down there.
I'm using a nail. Right. Getting some weird cut off parts here, but just enough. Just smooth that out. Okay. I'm gonna go right up to the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Alright. Really emphasize these twists here. How much that twists up like that. We can get a little bit of water right on this edge here. We just want to make sure this is nice. Wrapped up tight in the middle, and then set that down. There we go. We're pushing down ever so slightly right here. Some water right on this bottom edge here. Slowly pulling this up. Let me get to cut the tangles here in a second. Okay. So I'm going to get some of this water out of this bottom edge here. Just do four. I have one long one. Okay. Curl these up. So it's kind of interesting because these things are going to be way thicker than normal, right? And so they might add something pretty interesting to how narrow and thin the body is of this pot. So I'm curling these up. Sometimes when I make these, that the little, I call it the veins of the tree, they come together and they almost look like too wide to be a tree, right? Where right now it really has that nice tree quality to it on that middle part where I think what I'm missing out most on is the tree top itself. It can tip over, but you really want to keep that as center as possible. Sometimes it wants to tear. So we'll, we'll make sure we Give a little bit extra love to that bottom area there. I'm gonna take this out. There you go. Okay. There's number three. We keep number three front and center right here. We really don't want this to ever fall like what happened yesterday. That was atrocious when that happened. That ruined my pedal. Maybe not ruined, but just changed the how it works. I also no longer have a uh, cup to set my thing on, so that's a little bit unfortunate. So I guess we'll use some red underglaze on a blue 
thing here? How does this look? And so you can imagine what happened, right? These things just didn't end up working out too well when I had all these things together. And then all of a sudden one of them falls over, tips over. Hold on. Camera B? Or camera A? Camera A? There we go. Somebody said, wow, that's cool, nice. Number three deserves to be front and center. I'm digging that first vein. Yeah, I kind of like number three too. I think it's realistically, it's the best one out of today. We got... It's really here. Again, it does have to be here. I'll just slowly set that. Is that too tall? No, it's just not centered. A little bit too wobbly. It's close enough. I just don't want this to fall. A little bit nerve wracking. All right. <clears throat> so we'll get over here. I'll turn on my my green screen camera. All right. You guys ready? Green on. Hello, it's me. <laughs> if I'm gonna go over here to this one. I actually think that this is the one, you know, that we were just talking about that we think is the best. I think there's something about the, the tightness, right? I mean, look in comparison to the other ones, right? It's really nice and tight in that middle part. I also think the tandrils on the bottom being a little bit wider have more of that voice coming up and have more of this uplifting thing. One thing I think I probably could have done a little bit better is go a little bit wider on that top to exaggerate and get some more contrast in the silhouette of the pot. All right, then I'm gonna go over here to this one. I think that this one has more of that hourglass shape, but nothing too crazy is happening. I kind of like some of the small little, you know, tuck ups right where that twist happens. But overall, I think it's nothing too crazy, you know? And then if we're gonna go right above me, I think this one is probably the second best one. I do like how some of the veins of the trees sort of tuck up underneath of that top part. And then I think the tandrils are okay on the on that one. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. All the best and strong mentality.